are you? <gasps> Yay! What? What? Oh wow, I've never actually found this brand before. Oh my gosh, that was exhausting. I just want to catch your breath. <sighs> yep, I quit. No. All right, no, I'm just kidding. I am so out of breath. 50 pounds times four. That's a lot of work. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is actually a challenge that I decided to do with some thread up boxes. They have on their rescue tab, this mixed clothing section. And sometimes they've got 50 pounds of clothing. Sometimes they have hundred pounds. Sometimes they have 200. When I found it, it was 50 and it was 200. So I decided to do a 50 pound box. That one is already up on my YouTube channel. So feel free to see that video. But first we're gonna be unboxing some of these now. I have no idea what I was thinking. <laughs> when I got these boxes, I was like, they are basically the 50 pound box times four. So I know how long that video was. I'm gonna do two boxes today and I really hate to say it, but we're gonna do a part two. So we're gonna have a total of three videos. And again, take a look at that 50 pound box video and let me know what your thoughts are on that one. And then see this 200 pound box boxes video or uh, videos and let me know which one do you think won we'll go into the details of what the rescue boxes are we're going to unbox two of these right now and then later this week you will see part two but first for those who are new here welcome my name is ashley wheeler i am a full-time reseller basically what that means is i get inventory online as well as in thrift stores and i sell them on both poshmark and ebay and a couple of other different platforms and i am a full-time mom get to be able to work from home it's a beautiful thing in 2021 and today we are going to talk about the rescue boxes from thread up so this was the first time i ever purchased the mixed clothing boxes which is why i wanted to give it a shot and let you guys know how are these boxes are they really worth purchasing for you to sell on whatever platform it is that you want to sell on the rescue box title says each rescue box contains items Items that may need a little TLC we've or we've listed it for a while at a low low price which is I mean I would say that the 50 is $140 oh they've got the 100 pound one right now which is 250 but the 200 pound one was 450 all right I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this because I clearly can't do it up here Hi, yeah, yeah. These are so dirty. Does anyone else have like dirty boxes from you as kids? I feel like I've asked that question before, but I think this is worse today. I actually saw when these boxes got to our doorstep. It was really funny. We were at a fall festival with our kids. I was checking out pumpkins, a sunflower field. It's my favorite time of year, I swear. And I had gotten a notification that was saying, someone is at your front door. And I'm like, who could that be? Cause like all of our kids are here. Well, almost all of them. We had six of our kids there this weekend. And it was good old FedEx who was dropping off these packages. And all I could keep thinking was, please don't send the boxes. Okay, good array. I see something that's new tagged. So let's just hop right in. Don't I think this is much. This is clearly a junior brand because it's a size 11. It's rewind. It kind of reminds me of something I'd find at like Fred Meyers, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. This is what that looks like. This is what the brand looks like. I mean, it's black. Oh, I was hoping they were going to be pants guess they are not. I was going to say they're going to be really great for fall time, but not necessarily. I see something right here. This is Fabletics' logo. I'm a little concerned. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be a good piece. It looks cool, but I feel like something in the material is really coming undone. Really coming undone. That makes me slightly worried only because last box I was under the impression that it was just items they had listed on their website and I know Thread up will not accept anything that doesn't have a brand name on it doesn't have a size tag on it And last time I realized that perhaps these were the donations that they declined that the person who had sent them in didn't want back so I'm hoping this is not that box again. This is a J Crew, and this is no tagged. So again, kind of worries me. But I love the feel of this sweater. It does have a little bit of pilling. Not a big deal though. I'd probably put that one up for 30, 35, depending on how new that style is. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. AB Studios, I can't remember if this is Macy's or somewhere else. 
This is a nice material and I do like how it has like that asymmetric look to it. It's nice. It feels good, honestly. Next we have this Pink Floyd, looks like a tour. Oh, that's really cool. A tour um, tee. Pink Floyd 1X it says Dark Side of the Moon 1972 on it. I doubt this was actually from that time, so this is probably just uh, like a copy of what that looked like that year. This is cover stitch. I do not recognize this at all. A very sheer, I think that's a button, yeah, button up blouse. I like the material of this. It looks like an acid wash jean. Yeah, I could tell by the feel of it though, it wasn't so good. OSC, it is a size 24. It is not as good of a denim material as I thought. It's kind of one of those like could easily get really stretched. This is a really cute emerald green. This is H&M. So not anything spectacular, probably if it's worth, oh, it's not worth listing. It's got some pilling on it. Donate. Society Amuse, size small, yellow. I love this mustard yellow through the fall time. Definitely a crop top though, which is so crazy how many items are like cropped nowadays. Ann Taylor, <laughs> we had a lot of skirts in the first box, if you remember. So still working on that trend. Hopefully those things are gonna sell. Here's another Ann Taylor piece. It is a size small. This is really pretty though. I love the sleeve detail right there. Oh, it does look like there's a snag in the front. Actually, it looks like there's a couple snags. I don't know, we'll have to see if that is worth fixing. <gasps> Come on, baby. I wanna see some good stuff in this box. Nothing, I think that says matches, yeah. The way that the print is, it's just so hard to see. That's so interesting to me. Fun little fabric, pants. Another skirt, this is adorable. Unfortunately, I don't see a tag in it, which worries me. I don't want donations that they didn't want. Okay, so there is a tag down here. Honestly, by the looks of the tag, it kind of, oh, it's Forever 21. I was gonna say H&M, same diffs. Next, we have a universal thread size small Target shirt. This is definitely a lot of like springier stuff. Initially, I was excited because I saw that J. Crew sweater. However, this has definitely given me holiday vibes. <sighs> and it's unbranded again. Guys, I really, really, really want to see some good things in here. Please. Size is small. Okay, next we have Loft. It is a size two. Again, with the size twos. Just a solid black pencil skirt. Work style. Oh, what is this? This is gorgeous. Oh. This is so fun. Did someone like make this? No. There's a tag right there. But it's definitely not like a brand, popular brand or anything. Next we have a BCBG Generation Extra Small Chambray Top. This is cute, but again, it's definitely more for like the summer, springtime. I mean, stuff will sell all times of the year. Ooh, every time I'm like, hey, it's just spring and summer, not really anything. I'm like, oh, nope, I stand corrected. Please like be a good brand. The feel of this is amazing. Ooh, this is cool. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Where does it, okay, that's the top. Bam, that's how it works. <laughs> I still can't find a tag on here though. The material is great, you guys. I'm gonna have to play around with this one. It's too good of a quality for it to be like nothing. Like I have to, I am on the hunt. Okay, next we have a Forever 21 size medium cardigan. Okay, so this I would probably have picked up at the outlet if I'd seen it there because look at the buttons on it. It is so cute and it is like a thicker material. Oh, please tell me all the buttons are there. Woohoo, that's a, that's a thing. We are good. It is a size medium. It's a little oversized, but I would probably list this for like $25 and expect a little less. This is Hollister. Oh, I like this. Look at the details at the top. That's cute. I said in my last video, but I'm noticing that like both Hollister and Abercrombie are selling a lot more. Oh, this is beautiful. Um, so I'm, I don't mind having it in my store. It's a bread and butter for me. This is a beautiful vest. Okay. 
box is kind of redeeming itself right now. I'm feeling it. However, this does not have a size tag on it, which is probably why if they did reject it, they did. Well, ah, this is gorgeous too. What is this? Yes, I'm going to push everything else over. Oh, it's just Miami. But nonetheless, it is a cream vest. It is quilted, which winter of last year, quilted was a very popular like look. And I was actually looking on Walmart's fashion the other day. Yes, Walmart has decided to invest money into fashion. And they had a bunch of like the quilted purses still. So I'm kind of wondering if that's still going to be on trend for fall of 2021. Jones, New York. This is a brand that I don't ever pick up at the thrift stores. Food for thought. Now, I am a buy brand sort of seller. There are some people who sell by style. There are some people who will sell just vintage items. So I typically pay attention to what brands are on trend in the resale market. I will sometimes pick up based on style, kind of like what I was just saying about like the quilted vests. If I still know it's going to be like a worthwhile item. Actually, we had a, what was it? An L.L. Bean coat that we had purchased last year. I paid up for it, but it was on trend. And it wasn't something that I would normally pick up, but I knew LL Bean was a good brand and I knew that that was a very stylish trend right now. And it sold, it sold within, I think a couple weeks. So I wouldn't pick up this brand though at the store cause I've just never seen it be either on trend or even good in the resale world. All that to be said, it might work for you. I'm just saying. You have to go out and do your own research and try out brands because a brand might not work for me and it might work for you. This is Amanda and Chelsea again. This is a size two, just a really basic striped top. So far, there is not a lot in my donate back box or bag pile. <laughs> so that makes me feel good. This is Banana Republic 100% Merino wool. It is a striped sweater. I love the Merino wools, but you always have to pay attention Make sure there's no holes like down here. Make sure there's no holes right here on the sleeve. And then make sure there are no holes in the armpits. Another unbranded camisole. Let's see if there's a way to identify it. So the fabric tag is completely washed off. This says GERD, GERDier. I have no idea. I hate it when the word is like half on one side, half of the other. This is Madewell. It is a size medium. My one concern is I'm feeling this. Well, first my one concern, kind of going back to the whole wool thing. There are holes right there. So I'm not gonna be able to list this, but the other thing I'm noticing is this feels very tight. And so that tells me that someone washed this and then dried it incorrectly. Uh, anytime you see that at the stores, they also cut out like the style tag. So all in all, it's a want wah, -wah. Um, Sometimes sweaters are a little redeemable if it has been kind of like shrunken from improper washing. You can always steam an item and kind of tug on the material as you're doing it. It helps loosen up the materials and kind of get it back to the same style. But I would just disclose in your listing that it has kind of been shrunken and kind of not pre-pulled or what have you, but just said stretched and measured accordingly based on the condition that the item is in. If you feel like it was once upon a time a medium and you can only get it to up to be a small, just disclose that in the listing. A little more tedious, but if it's a worthwhile item, like if that was still no holes in it and it was just tight, I probably would have listed it. This is Alice and Olivia, which you tell me, is this a brand that sells for you guys? Because I don't ever feel like it sells well for me. I don't know if maybe I just need to check around with my pricing. Should I be doing better? Oh, that's a little concerning. So here's another thing. This dress, the slip underneath is out further than the material, which tells me that this has been a little shrunken. So again, that technique, this is a good brand. Um, well, I mean, generally is but i was just asking you guys if it was a brand that sells well for you because i don't really know if it sells good for me um but what i'll do is i'll stretch this item out as i'm steaming it to make sure the material on the outside goes down below the slip little tips little tips <laughs> i kind of figured this just looked like a little walmart like tag on it this is a medium camo shorts they're cute but they are definitely not going to be good in the resale world especially since they're just um time and true the retail of these were $13.44. So not really gonna be worth me listing myself. This is BP, size small, sweater. One of the lower end 
brand, not brand, but like Nordstrom house brands. There we go. It does have like a high low hem. That's cute with a um, slit on the side. Whoa, so many things. This is an American Eagle extra small long sleeve hoodie. Really simple. I haven't been telling you guys prices, so sorry. Been into giving you tips at this point. This is so interesting. What is this? Who are you? <laughs> I've never felt a scarf that has that much elastic in it. That's just weird. This is a sports bra. And it looks unbranded. Not even a logo on it. Yep. And it does. Oh, it's Target. Oh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised it didn't have like a logo on it. That's so strange. I don't know. Fortunately with this, it actually had the style name in it and it did say Target. So I have some research I can do for that one. And I love selling sports bras. They're so easy. <gasps> Yay! I think this is what, yay! Finally, we get something good. I'm such a nerd, sorry. This is Sweaty Betty. This is what the logo looks like if you've never seen it before. And it doesn't, it depends on the type, it's kind of like everything, let's be real. It definitely depends on the style of the item, but Sweaty Betty can be a brand that sells really good. And this bra looks in amazing condition. Oh, I'm so excited, I needed that. Please be another like cool item. I love the colors. Let's just start there. Oh, it's Nike. Yes, I love selling Nike. I live in Oregon and we go to Portland, Oregon a lot to do thrift hauls. I do showcase a lot of that on this channel. So definitely hit that subscribe if you want to watch those videos and any upcoming ones because we do have some plans. This is a size medium. And since Nike's headquarters is over in the Portland area, more like the Beaverton Hillsboro area, there's a lot of Nike over there. Even some sample pieces I've found before, which is really cool. This is another Banana Republic. I don't know why I'm like digging so low. I have so much over here. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, moving on. Squirrel, Banana Republic, extra small or extra large. Oh, it does have a cami in it. Oh, that's nice. So I'll just have to properly get the camisole in it and it's actually a ready to go top. I'll probably put that one up for 25. When I remember to tell you the price, I'll let you know. Leave it down in the comments below if you do enjoy me telling you like, hey, I think that this would sell for this price, so on and so forth. I'm going to be honest when I just don't know a brand, kind of like this one, Jill Stewart. This looks expensive and I feel like I recognize this brand, but um, you got me. I do not know, so I can't wait to do some research. Stitching looks good and can't find the fabric tag right now, so... We will figure that out later. But yeah, leave it down in the comments below if that is something you do enjoy, is me kind of saying what I would sell this for, or at least list it for. This is all funny, intimates. I kind of have a hate relationship with this brand. <laughs> I picked up this brand multiple times when I first started and they sat there forever. So now I just have a huge deterrent away from this brand, to be honest. This is what this looks like. It's cute. I honestly don't feel like it's something you're gonna wear to bed. Next, we have another sports bra, or actually this could be a swimsuit. Forever 21, it is a size small, teal, striped. I do love listing this kinds of stuff because it's just so simple, it's easy to store, and there's not a whole lot of photos you need to take with it too. Mm -mm -mm. What is happening? What? 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 What is that? That can't, okay. This looks like something that someone ordered off of like wish.com thinking they were gonna get something like a wedding dress and this was what they got instead. <laughs> One of those like that so doesn't match the picture. It's got some ruffles at the bottom but I can guarantee this is like a boutique brand. Yeah, 100%. Size medium, dare I say it. So I'm gonna say donate. This is actually another new to me brand. The way that that style tag looked, nope, it is not. Okay. This is pretty though. I'm gonna have to do some research for this one, so I don't know the price for this one yet. Is that a whole? No. It's a fun dress. It is lightweight. It has a really, I like this lacy detail at the bottom and kind of the different patterns on the dress. 
very lightweight, which is also nice. Ella Moss, this is a size small and I am dropping more bras. There's a lot of bras in this one. This is a fun dress, if I can get the straps. Oh, there we go. They are tied, that's why I couldn't get them. It's asymmetrical down here. I probably put that up for 20. There's another pack set, no. APC, size large. Just a really basic long sleeve, teal stripes. This is what the tag looks like, did I show it to you yet? I can't remember. That pile is looking mighty fine over there. Another just basic cami, this is Forever 21, a size small. I just knotted my finger <laughs> around the strap. And this is gonna be a, I don't know if I'm gonna list or not. This is an Eddie Bauer V-neck basic top, short sleeve. Kind of hitting another summer flow. This is Theory. This is the old tech Theory, the size two. Oh my gosh. But this hot pink and like this strapless dress totally reminds me of something like Legally Bond would have worn. You feel me? You feel me? Yeah. The material is um, crazy. It feels so, I don't even know how to explain it. Like papery almost. It's kind of crazy. I am going to list it. I don't know what I'm going to list it for yet though. H&M. Again, have a love-hate relationship with H&M. Like, they have such fun styles, but the quality is just horrible. And I do not like supporting fast fashion. This is a size 8, so who knows? We're going to put it right here. This is Juicy Couture, size small. Whoa. Oh, it's a dress. I thought it was just going to be a cami. It's got this fun detail at the bottom. And it does look like there's some stains right here. So if I, you know, I'm gonna wash all of this, but I'm gonna have to spot treat that first. I'm gonna have to remember to spot treat it. This is another universal thread. Surprisingly, I do like selling Target stuff. If I can get it at like the outlet, it's worth it to me. This is a fun material. It feels like it's double, like up here, I guess, um, double material inside and outside and it's so stinking soft it reminds me of like a terry cloth blanket this is venus which is a catalog brand my mom used to buy stuff off of this that's how i know and they don't have the size tag on it that's what it looks like it's like the victoria's secret but a little more expensive but in the resale world not so much as far as like holding its retail value but that's a fun dress levi's shorts can't tell if the string was supposed to be there or if that was like strictly decor. Next we have this skirt. This is brand I haven't seen before. Ooh, there we go. That's what it looks like. So such a different style. It's a very, very stretchy skirt. Definitely one of those like form-fitting skirts. This is Forever 21, super cute. If I could sell this on Galaxy, I totally would. Um, I might actually keep it for that. There are some great pieces in here that, you know, I could sell for like 10 bucks, but I just don't want to like go through the process of like photographing and listing. Like then you take out the fees and it just doesn't make any sense for all the time you're going to spend in it. But on Galaxy, there is no fees. So it's just like I do a live sale, which is nice. This is Universal Thread. It is extra small. And this one looks like it has a lot of wash wear, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cool melon. That sounds that was really fun to say. <laughs> this is so soft. Ugh. And it kind of is like giving me LuLaRoe vibes, to be honest. <laughs> this is another Venus. This is a size extra small. Definitely I'm gonna need to wash that as well. Like the gems, the bedazzleness on the front. Another pair of shorts. Oh yeah, we talked about this brand in my last video, which I actually was just listing a couple of those items. Is it today? Yesterday? No, yesterday. So we'll see how those do. My friend uh, Karina commented on it, so now I have a good understanding of that brand now. This is a Zara size. Why does it look like they like stitched off the size? It's actually kind of worrisome. I don't recognize this tag from Zara. I'm like slightly worried. Are you real? I do not see their normal. Guys, I think this is a fake Zara because they would never, like they have an obnoxious 
fabric tag. This is not obnoxious, even if they cut it off. I don't think this is a real Zara. Donate, you can slap my hand and tell me if I'm wrong. This is a White House Black Market size eight dress. Let me just zip it up. I love the feel of this, this is gorgeous. It's definitely an older um, tag of theirs. Oh, I hate it when like dresses do this. Ah. It's like right where the stitch changes. Oh no, maybe there is an issue. There is an issue there. So we're not, we're gonna get rid of this one because the zipper does not work in the back. It's like getting a hole. How do you even, oh, it's on the side. Okay, well, it's cute, but yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, what is this? Who are you? This is Sage. Doesn't say size, but it looks so fun. Next we have, is it Glamour's? Yeah, extra small. Never seen that brand before. Is this a romper? Oh my gosh, it is, it's a romper. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a romper. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see whether I'm gonna list that or not. This is a living doll, extra small, super, super, super cheap, super cheap. Like, almost like a junior brand. I don't know. This is Lululemon, but it does have some wash wear, not gonna lie. It's like reversible, but it's the same color and print on both sides. So confused. It's a broken Lululemon logo, but the stitching actually does not look correct. So I think it's a fake Lulu. Sad day. Jennifer Lopez, size six. This is kind of fun. I've never seen like shorts do that, but that's like genius to do that. Fun style. I do not know what I'll list that for because I don't normally pick up that brand. I think I have one item because it was new tagged at the outlet. I decided to give it to World. Oh, and it was a sweater. These, oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh, Halloween. Yes, no brand, don't care. We're doing, <laughs> who are you? What is this madness? Okay, next we have, oh, this is a good brand. I actually just, just sustained, actually no, we sold something from this brand the other day. My very first introduction to that brand was an unboxing. I did Jade's like Christmas exchange like years ago, Fashion Without Trash In, and that was how I learned about that brand. <laughs> I didn't even need to see the Marvel tag. This just gave me Captain America vibes. Again, this would be such a great Halloween thing. I'm sure dirt cheap though, you know? <sighs> I'm gonna have to do a galaxy video, you guys. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. It's cute. This is Mud Pie, size small. This looks like a kid's brand, but it's like bigger. And there's something there, I gotta wash that. Oh, this is not something I would normally pick it up at all. This is definitely an older dress or skirt, I should say. I do like the length of this. This is my style of length to wear myself, but I, would, I probably should look to see if that's even worth selling. Oh, this is great. This is a new tagged Athleta sports bra. Oh, I love that. Regularly $69. Love the zip in the front. It had great cushion too. Cushion padding, same diff. This is Slimming Options 3X fabric. Oh my gosh, that print. <laughs> what in the world? I've seen this before. I have no idea what that means as far as brand goes. This is another item that looks like it would be a perfect thing to add to someone's Halloween costume. American Eagle jeans. These are short raw hem. They are very small. And, oh, my nose is getting itchy. Loft small petite mini dress. Definitely needs to get washed. Ultra pink, size small. This is cute, but I've never heard of this brand before. So I don't know what the quality is, what the resale market is for it. This is BP, extra small. Again, another very basic top. We're gonna like jump ahead. What is, oh, I knew it. I'm such a nerd, you guys. This is Lululemon leggings. They do look like they've got some wash wear. I could totally tell by this print though that this was going to be a Lululemon. 
I will not list them for a lot just because I can feel that they're, they've are they been washed a couple times. And they do kind of look like an older style because they have the ruching. But the fact that they have pockets, perfect. Won't spend too much time on that. Okay, back to what I was doing, sorry. This is a Forever 21 mini denim skirt. Denim skirts have seemed to be doing good along with jean, jacks, blah, 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 jean jackets. I have sold in the last like week or two, two or three. So definitely worth listing those for sure. It's just the crew ones that aren't doing so hot, which to be expected. H&M, just a really basic hoodie zip up jacket and also has something on it that needs to be washed out. Okay, next we have, oh, Grayson and Thread Sleepwear, size medium. So this is a Target brand. Very simple. A few more in here, and then we're going to jump to the next one. Okay, this is another one I would never pick up. This is Perception Concepts. And this has no tag. The wash wear is definitely to the point that, like, the material is sticking to each other. <laughs> this is an extra small Madewell, just a really simple black slip dress. It's really long. This is going to be really good for the fall. I'll definitely wash that one up and then get that one listed. Oh, wow. What is this? This looks like an anthropology. Oh, it's a free people. I could tell like these kind of gave it away. This is inside out though. So the hope is that it's in really good condition. <laughs> I'm very happy to see a free people dress in here. This is size extra small. Another of this brand. You can definitely tell someone was trying to vibe, vibe with a specific style. There is so much bleach on the front of that. That's just not gonna work. Oh, this is Victoria's Secret, size small. This is gorgeous, I love that. Love the print, love this lace. It's actually in really good condition, which is awesome. Next we have another Lululemon. This is a size six, really simple, just basic tee, but some people love these basic tees. And it still has the fabric take in it, so that's even better. I mean, at the bottom, it's kind of redeeming itself, you guys. What do you think so far? This is Lush. Ooh. Top. Or is it? <laughs> it's kind of like a tunic top. Very bohemian style, like layer it, do a ton of gems with it. You'd look pretty solid in that top. Theory, another Theory dress at the very bottom. Again, this is the older tag of Theory. Does look like some stitch. No, that's actually not stitching coming out. Doesn't have the size on it though. So I'll have to look at the fabric tag and see. What do we think so far? One box in. <sighs> okay, and we'll just put this one by my side. May the thrift gods give us some good stuff out of this box. Oh. Hello. <laughs> that was gonna like ricochet back to me. I don't know. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied. Like that, I'm gonna list. Pile is a lot better than the donate pile and the I don't know what I'm going to do with pile. So that's a good start. We have, I don't recognize that, but that is a fun print. This is another one of those that, oh, it's got pockets on the side. So it would like be a fun thing to post on Galaxy. My watch died. That is what it looks like. Half of the brands were kind of blurry the last time I was filming. So I really hope that's not happening right now. This is Meadow Rue, Meadow Rue, which is an anthro brand. <laughs> this is a size small. It's fun. It's cute. Tell me in the comments below what your experience has been with anthropology pieces. I feel like nowadays anthropology sells if it's like just been in the stores. Otherwise that stuff is bread and butters for me now. When I first started, like that was the store to learn about. Not anymore. Ooh, Pill Crow, Pill Crow and the Letter Press. Ashley, got one more box. Like, you better make this work. Now, this is kind of what I'm talking about. So, Pill Crow and the Letter Press, it actually says at the bottom, by Anthropology, which tells me that that's new because they just started doing that, what was it, like a year ago, maybe two years ago now? This is a really, really great pair of jeans. And I like kind of the distressing. The quality, mm, the quality of that denim is so good. I'm like trying to take one item out and I'm already looking through the rest. Okay, so this is another time and true pair of pants. So we are just gonna redonate that. And oh, 
Okay, let's do this one first. This is, I gotta stop looking in the box. It is Ann Taylor, size large. This is a fun print, not gonna lie. Oh, and there's definitely some like deodorant stains right there. Probably someone tried this, didn't like it, and then just returned it. So I just got stuff to wash, but this, please tell me you're a trench coat, please. It's a North Face women's coat. It is a size large. How dare you tempt me this way? Oh my gosh! It is a trench coat! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <gasps> no. This is gorgeous! It fits my arms. It is long, which is another reason why I like trench coats because longer torso. I can't. This is hard for you to see. I like it, but I don't like, do I really need another coat, you guys? But I like how thin it is. Oh my gosh, if my husband saw this right now, he'd be like, just keep it, just keep it. I actually got a brand new puffer coat for Christmas last year. That was like my big priced item because those are expensive. <laughs> oh, it's going to sell so good. It will, I know it will. All right, you're gonna go in that pile. Now that we're back. <laughs> this is Caslon, it is size small. I love this lemon print. That is so cute. I don't know what I'm gonna list that for. I'm still in shell shock of that. <laughs> I can't believe that was in there. It is loft, it is a dress, it is cute, it is definitely summery, and it is a size two, which I haven't said in this video yet, but if there's anything that you would love to have in this, feel free to comment down below and we will get that sent out to you. Next, we have a pair of shorts. This is Spicy Girl. Speaking of Spicy Girl, Sporty Girl, Sporty Girl. Spice Girls. Sporty Girl is on Dancing with the Stars right now. So if you didn't know that and you love Spice Girls, give her a follow. Support her. I love watching that show. I'm a sucker for dancing. Yeah, that's going to be a donate. Texture and Thread by Madewell. This is a size small. This is very fun. I'll probably list that one for 25 If the comps say more, then I'll do a little more. Milky Way. This is made in the U.S. Long sleeve. I love the feel of this dress. And I love the structure of it, like the way it forms on the sides. I don't know about that brand though, so I'm gonna have to look that one up. This is Wild Fable, which is Target, and it looks like someone was trying to stitch up the holes. I don't know if anyone's gonna like that though. Hey, I don't know. We'll put it in this pile. We will decide on that one later. This is Pretty Little Things. Oh, it's a bodysuit. Wow. Turtleneck bodysuit, ribbed. That's a really great color for the fall, too. This is Ari. This is such a fun bra, honestly. The haltered bra. Another bra, which I don't think Thread Up actually takes bras. This is Lively. This is a really great material. Good structured padding right there, too. This is Express Size Small beautiful gemmed mini skirt and to be honest i'm actually not seeing any there's something that needs to be washed off of it but the sequins are actually in great condition this is brixen this is beautiful i love this hold on there it goes this is beautiful it totally has given me like antique vintage vibes not vintage but antique i love this lace so fun. Ooh, this green is nice. It's Talbots. This is definitely the old tag too. And it feels like wool, 99% wool. The rest is spandex. Ooh, that might be a galaxy item. This is Land's End. This is a 14 tall. And these are definitely something that someone tried to donate and probably got rejected because it looks like it's a man sizing. Vineyard Vines Classic 10, button down, just a very simple Vineyard Vines. I actually don't find that brand often, so I don't really know how well that sells. I will find out soon. This looks like a good pair of jeans. This is Zara. Zara actually is a really good denim. It's, again, fast fashion to a degree, and it is a size 4, but 
I feel like the quality is actually really good. And I do like, they're kind of similar to American Eagle in the sense that you can do high-waisted, low-rise, mid-rise. You can do longer legs, shorter legs. Like they have a good variation of their denim. Next we have Ambrely. I have no idea. I have no idea. This definitely looks like an older style. We'll have to look up that one. Oh, I'm seeing some really good denim right now. I'm excited. This is Gap light wash but in like really fantastic condition you guys more of a regular straight leg straight leg i think yeah and this is a size 30 regular next we have universal thread which i do not mind selling this is a very simple basic medium wash this looks straight yeah no skinny leg sorry almost jigging style 628 regular it is a mid-rise skinny oh so this is that brand that i saw earlier but this one actually has more of the fabric tag this time this is new to me i have not found this one before but i am totally digging the way that these pants look i can't wait to look this one up hopefully we'll learn something new wow this is h m it's like a corset top here we are there might be a galaxy live show this is the 90 degree size small long sleeve top it actually kind of looks oversized it feels so comfy it's kind of crazy i found out that this brand actually sells at nordstrom's along with a lot of other places aeropostal i haven't seen that brand in such a long time high rise jeggings with the distressing this is what the tag looks like and this one is a 10 regular. It's like a Lulu row top. Is it? No, thank God. BDG, this is a size large regular fit crew neck. Kind of that raglan style. What is this? <laughs> Who are you? Okay, it's so much wash wear. We're totally not going to list this. It's just a basic sweater brand, and someone had really good fun with puffer paint and some fabric. The amount of wash wear. Oh, I need like sanitizer. I feel like I'm at the bins right now. <laughs> this is a Joe's New York size four. This is a really fun pair of pants, but I just do not sell this brand at all. This might be something again. It goes for Galaxy. Fun velvet top. What do we have here? Mossimo. So this is an old Target brand. It does have the cold shoulder look, but so perfect for Christmas. Not a whole lot for that one. Maybe listed at 20, expected to go for like 18, 15. Next we have BP. This is an extra small. Oh wow, there's a lot of like, we need to go in with a sweater shaver for that one. This looks like another Lululemon. No, it's not. Um, another pair of leggings though. Active wear leggings. I don't know if that brand is worth listing. This is what that tag looks like what it looks like inside it does have pockets we all know that's a plus when we're doing leggings okay these the waistband is so not in a good condition it's worthington size two petite but i feel like this has been rolled one too many times this is looks like a target tag yep good fellow so good fellow is actually a men's brand at target and that's probably why it's in this box maroon cardigan i am not opposed to selling men's i actually really like selling men's because i feel like there's not a lot of people that sell in men's comparatively to women this has no tag on it so we are gonna just donate that next we have a fun activewear skirt it says a size large but i think that means size large in girls she cute in a couple of years she'll fit my daughter <laughs> but i don't know if i'm gonna list that lands end this is a size 2x Really simple, basic shirt. Next we have a white Forever 21. Just again, basic kind of muscle cropped shirt. Styling Co, which is a Macy's brand. Petite, petite. I don't think, no, I take that back. I think I've seen that before. I love the feel of this though. And the tropical look. Like, please go to Mexico wearing this. This is another Forever 21 major like bleach wash. That's not even acid wash. That's kind of crazy. I kind of wonder if someone did that. I have no idea. All right, next we have Athleta. And it does look like there's some kind of bluish look right there, but that's really it. Other than that, like they're in great condition and super thin. 
time and true, you know what to do. We have another Worthington, and again, the condition feels not so good. BCG size small, kind of loungewear, sweatpants, actually some high rise. I haven't heard that brand before, so we're gonna look that one up too. Anna, petite small, fun leggings, nice print, just your basic legging style. The limited medium easy shorts, kind of the roll up pair, size two. I'm putting a lot of stuff right here because I'm just undecided on what I want to do with them. BP. There's a smell to this. Oh, Wild Fox. It is. <laughs> Poor decision. That's very interesting. You are an extra small. She cute. I feel like I've seen this brand at Marshall's before. I don't know where it is other than that. But it is a nice fleece outdoor wear pull up snap button. Next, we have another old Target brand, fun knitted, definitely kind of coming out of that season for this, but like a bralette under that would be so cute. We have another bodysuit. Oh wow, I've never actually found this brand before. This is Tiger Mist and it is an extra small. I'm very interested to see how this will sell. Wow, that's a comeback. Oh my gosh, that's an old Worthington. Holy smokes. It's like 70% rayon. It's another active wear brand, but I've never seen it before. Oh, it was actually the same as those pink, that pink skirt, it's called Aspire. I don't know. What do we have? Gap, skinny ankle. This one actually, the material is a lot softer compared to the, one of the other ones I just seen. Daisy Funtes. This is really fun. I love like the jersey mix with like the performance shirt. It's a size medium. I have never seen this brand to list before. This is a really, really cute dress. I really love that flower detailing. And it does not have a size tag. So I don't know, we'll see what we all do with that one. This is Mango, a long skirt. I like this detail in the front, but you would definitely like want something to tuck in or wear a bodysuit. So you could showcase that. Depending on what that goes for, probably either $25 or $30, I would list that for. So this says Hills and Trails, Rocks and Dirt, North Face, Extra Extra Large, Men's Top. And it honestly feels like it's a new condition. It doesn't feel like it's been washed. This next one is another Anthropology. This is what the tag looks like. You can, I mean, this actually says anthro on it, so you would have guessed there, but previously it just had the bottom part. It is also really hard to reach over that part. Oh wow, this is a Tommy Hill figure. This is a Tommy Hill figure. If you didn't see the tag, you probably would have guessed it because it's definitely, well, I mean, the logo would have given it away, but it definitely has that like schoolgirl, schoolboy vibe. This is a mid-rise short, Hollister, size three. Whoa, didn't mean to like slingshot this thing. Okay, next it is another time and true. That just, you guys, that brand just retails for really low. So it would make no sense to try to resell it. This is Love Fire, which I think is like a Fred Meyers brand. It's a junior brand, extra small. She cute though. I really like it. It's a fun dress. But I don't know if it's going to sell well. This is, oh fun. This is a maternity brand. Isaac, wait. Is this the maternity brand? No, it's not. That's the Isabel. This is just another Target collab. Here's what it looks like. This is a great dress, actually. Very long. Next, we have Talbots shorts. Kind of more high rise, size eight. Coming close to the end, you guys. This looks like another Anthro brand. Oh no, it's Loft. The Rivera shorts. That is crazy. There's a bug on it. I don't know if it was alive or dead, but I was not gonna stick around to find out. This next one's another time and true. This is Lush. And we've sold Lush before. It doesn't normally sell more than $20. Like it sells under $20 unless it's a uh, dress or something like that. And this is also Lush, size extra small. Ooh, this is furry and fun. Oh, it's a Tommy Hilfiger. Wow. It's a really great coat. It even has the logo right there. It actually looks in really good condition. This cami has seen better days. My goodness. 
<laughs> Massimo. This is adorable. Oh, this is Kendall and Kylie. Cropped corduroy mustard yellow top, extra small. Not gonna be worth a lot. Love Fire, Love Fire, I think is a Nordstrom brand, like a house brand. Just basic black top. Okay, this pile is kind of catching up to that pile over there. Um, I feel like I got this out of my Quick Lots box. Maiden form, I think is what it says. And this is almost like a Spanx style. Where is this brand at? I don't even remember, you guys. We are down to our last item. This is H&M size 2. So guys, make sure you come back in just a few days and I'm going to be unboxing these two and then you guys can give me my thoughts. Would you guys list these items yourself? Are these boxes you would purchase? Let me know down in the comments below. So I will see you guys in a few days. Bye. Oh lord. I mean, I almost had that.